Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general love tale reading for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you. Taurus, this energy may already be in your life currently. But before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this is and will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you here specifically. If it does not, Taurus, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, Taurus, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started with your reading and your energy. Can we please receive a couple cards for Taurus when it comes to the energy of love? that Taurus is dealing with. We have the Justice card as our first card. So Libra energy. All right. We have the Justice card. What is this Justice energy surrounding for Taurus when it comes to love? Let's see what we need to know, please, with the Justice card. Okay, we do have a Nine of Pentacles. We'll take the Temperance as well, Sagittarius energy. All right, let's see what we need to know about this person making their way towards Taurus or the person that Taurus is dealing with currently here. All right, Taurus, we will take the Nine of Cups. We'll take that upright if needed. I'll clarify it in reverse. We have the Nine of Cups. Six of Pentacles, Taurus, but it seems like it came out in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse and let's clarify the six of pentacles in reverse feeling okay four of cups taurus four of cups all right so with that we will officially begin we have the justice card for taurus libra energy nine of pentacles temperance nine of cups then the six of pentacles in reverse and the four of cups so taurus I feel like this is more so for my single Tauruses, and it's like, you know that there's something greater ahead when it comes to love, so you may not be interested in just anyone, and not just anyone Taurus should have your love. It takes someone special here, and I, I feel like you're very aware of that, and if it's anything less than, or if something isn't off, you're very picky, but pick in the best way, because you should treat your energy as so you should only like of course do what you want to do taurus but just knowing that your love is valuable here so i feel like for you taurus you may have stayed away from dating in general or perhaps your love life has been a bit slower but in the meantime taurus i feel like you've been able to rest up and feel at peace with things and heal and also date your own self like give yourself the love that you desire building up your high standards or building up your standards so that they're high standards and also just knowing exactly what you want to attract here. So there could have been a lot of lessons that you've taken on within this period of time here. And I feel like you definitely know of the energy that you want to avoid. So we have the justice card. I feel like this is good karma coming your way, Taurus, and that's because you've done everything or you've done things that reflects your soul, or you've done things that resonate to who you truly are, Taurus. And while you're doing that, although you may feel like there's no actual reward besides like that solitude within, the universe sees that. The universe sees that you're going towards the energy that you hope to attract. And I feel like that is going to bring in that good karma, but also that harmony within Taurus. So we have this justice card. I feel like they're at peace with things and also with the Nine of Cups, feeling content, feeling like you have power in your solitude, Taurus, feeling like freed from any um, confinement, emotional, mental confinement, Taurus. And that could be a, a great thing when it comes to being single or a great perk. It's like 
No one is about to mess up my energy. No one has any sort of control over me at all, regardless of if you're single or not, Taurus. But you're only worrying about yourself and you're able to give yourself exactly what you want here. So being independent, being able to get it yourself, Taurus. So when a person comes in and they try to get to know you, it's like, how can you add to me? How can you work with me? Because I, I don't need anything from you. I have that love within, but I would like to build something more with you, but I don't need it in order to survive, Taurus. So your standards are high. And with the temperance card, I feel like you didn't, or excuse me, you've been divinely guided up until you are at, or up until you, wait, you've been divinely guided to the point where you're at now, Taurus. You're being protected, and also I feel like your, your balance, like your balance as far as what will come to me, it will work its way through. Learning to be patient, Taurus, knowing that good things take time here. And also within this patience and within this time, you have freedom to do anything you want, Taurus. Explore your options, step out of your comfort zone, revise things. But I feel like you're not going to step out of this frequency that you're in right now if the love is not reciprocal, if this person doesn't match your energy, if they take from you. Because if that is the case, Taurus, we have that Four of Cups, you're, you're not interested. So perhaps there has been someone recently where it wasn't it, Taurus, and you knew that and you didn't waste your time. But what else do we have going on for Taurus, please? All right, we do have the King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. When it comes to love, we have the King of Pentacles, Six of Cups did come out. All right, who is this energy in regards to? Eight of Cups as well. Eight of Cups, Six of Cups, Eight of Cups, what else? All right, let's see what we have here, Taurus. We have the Emperor and the Eight of Pentacles here, Taurus. I'm going to put those two back just because I want to um, utilize the cards that come out individually for more specific energy. So we have the Six of Cups, Eight of Cups for Taurus. Let's see what else here, please. Two of Wands, Two of Wands, Taurus. What's this Two of Wands about? We have the Nine of Wands. All right, one more message or card, please, for Taurus. Queen of Swords. And actually, Taurus, one more card. One more energy for Taurus, the Chariot. Cancer energy here. So all in all, this is giving me that energy of if I if I knew then what I know now. I feel like you're utilizing, like you've really grown Taurus for the for the better. And I feel like you're using these changes that you've experienced or that you've learned, you're using them to your advantage. I feel like you know what you want to go towards. You know that you don't want to waste time. And if someone shows you a red flag or if you feel unsure of someone, I, I feel like you're fine without, you don't mind leaving this person in the past or walking away from what does not serve you because there's always a new beginning. There's always choices. There's always avenues, Taurus. And this could have been an energy that you've picked up or learned to accept along the way. Because as this time has gone by, as you've picked up these lessons, Taurus, you've gotten wiser. You've gotten more secure and abundance and hopefully within yourself Taurus as well like you it's like that wisdom that maturity that stability mostly and also it's like I'm stronger when I don't have distractions around me if you're not with me you're against me and it could be very easy to sort those people out moving forward Taurus so even when it comes to that six of cups energy reminiscing or wanting to grow old with someone, wanting those sentimental memories or experiences with someone, if they're for the short, short term or if they're not for you, Taurus, I feel like, you know what? I got to leave it alone. I got to walk away. Don't get down about it. Don't get frustrated because, and of course, that doesn't mean ignore your feelings and emotions, Taurus, but it's like there's always more for you, so you never have to settle here. So very resilient energy, Taurus, and it's like, you know what, it's, this didn't work out for me, it could be their loss, it could 
just simply be not meant to be. It, it could be a bunch of reasons, but that doesn't take away from your power. So Nine of Wands, I feel like there has been like a surge of confidence and I hope you feel that Taurus, but I feel like you, you know that your love is not for everyone and not everyone just deserves to have you in their life or deserves that Taurus Empress energy love. And Queen of Swords, it's like you, you knowing what's best for you, not having someone change your mind or swift your opinion here, Taurus, um, control you. I, I feel like you know exactly what you want when it comes to love and you're going straight towards the the objective for you, the chariot. You're moving differently. Um, this could be a new approach to love here, Taurus. So yeah, Taurus, I feel like you're serious when it comes to just representing and owning who you are and you're not you're not letting other people's opinions or experiences or low vibrational energy come in the way of what you want what you deserve deserve and desire Taurus all right so let's go ahead and see what signs might be relevant we do have Aries for Taurus Libra Aries Libra Scorpio might be relevant and as I said, that Scorpio came out, but let's do one more sign. Aries, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn. All right. So Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today as always. I do appreciate the love here and the support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.